Hello everybody, and welcome back to Doki Doki Laser Club. Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me and then back at the poem. By now she must have read it more than once. <clears throat> is that bad? Is it that bad? No, no, it's not. It's good, it's really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, wasn't this supposed to happen at all? I can't just be bad at this. My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying- Oh, wait, wait, hold on. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, you think I let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you- Natsuki's face freezes like she just realized something. Y you You're trying to impress me? Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. <laughs> then poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Red faces <laughs> Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. Hey Brayden, did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? No, no. I just told her that. My voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? Oh, I, I mean, not really. In fact, is she didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Brayden? Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki just snatches the poem out of Monica's hand. Neither of us had noticed their re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. Ugh, you should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know? You have a bad habit of doing that. Hmm? But Brayden wrote this poem. We're supposed to share it with everyone, right? Ugh. Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Brayden is done sharing the poem with everyone. It's not like anyone wants to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just gonna hold on to this. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh. Never mind. Uh, Natsuki? I'll give you the poem, but that's still not very fair to so Siori. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? <laughs> well, I guess Brayden is right, Natsuki. It's not fair you don't let any everyone finish reading it. Fine. Natsuki returns my poem. It's not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. <coughs> Spider one. That's gonna be the same thing, right? Yeah. Hi again, Brayden. That was kind of silly with Natsuki earlier, wasn't it? I'm glad the two of you have been getting along so well. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, I, I already read your poem, but you can go ahead and read mine now. I like this way you went, this one turned out, so I hope you do too. I'll walk home with Natsuki. Walking home with Natsuki, huh? Why does the thought of that mean my heart pound? I mean, I think I would be afraid of what she'd do to me if I turned her down. Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? That has nothing to do with that, what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez, there's not even any point in speculating something that ever is going to happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not as long before you need me anymore, you know? I need you. Siri, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and we're feeling awkward. Hey, you! Huh? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't much time, that much time, so... Uh, sorry. <clears throat> I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down to her side. She's laying a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up after a minute, but we can get started now. I'm a, I won't make you wait any longer. 
Jeez, now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, what's the you didn't feel like talking about her anymore? She practically mumbles that last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Siori, that's all. It's Siori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Let's get in exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little bit more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You just can't avoid it. If anything, she just probably doesn't want you to worry about it because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. I mean, it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought about it way from the start. That's what she feels with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh boy. Let's see, let's see! You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course! You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. Seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like, I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki? What? You're not very calm about your writing, aren't you? Eh? W what are you talking about? My writing's obviously the best, right? It took me a while to figure it out, but I think I finally did. Miyatsuki's acts are so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, and other people might think that way too. <laughs> right? Brayden? Please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never share my poems before this. Natsuki? Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say that's so cute? Just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but so nobody understands that. I really truly are when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions aren't there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... And Suki tears off. Maybe it's because her lips start to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. And Atsuki, if you're not careful, I'll rip or your own poem. <clears throat> I gently grab her poem with my own hands so she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. Don't read it! Before I could pick it back up, Natsuki snatched the poem out from her desk. It's not any good, and I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. But why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, didn't I didn't look much into it. But now you better know. That's wrong for you already think your style is more amateur than hers. And Siori... She always means well, but sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I really never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if it was, I, I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute, and you're a lot more than that. Huh. Natsuki, you're doing it again. <clears throat> Once again, Natsuki clutches the palm a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult it was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her palm on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. <clears throat> okay, I will. Oh, this is different. Because you, tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty, because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller, because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart. But what do I do when it's all torn apart? My faith is a little bit stronger, because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings into the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best.
My palms are a little bit dear. Because you think of me. Because you. Because you. Because you. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not like I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Uh, I am guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. <laughs> don't just say that, Demi. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing things that you just can't say. Yeah, I understand. <clears throat> I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm a pro, so... Yatsuki Mambo is completely falling, failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just remember that I can't see things sometimes, too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's meaningful. I'm glad. Why am I messing up people's characters? I always do that. So the thing I took satisfied is to try to hand the poem back to her. But as I do so, and that's like takes my hand, pushes them back away. My small soft hand surprises me with her assertion. I don't want it. Huh? Why not? I just don't. Jeez. That is what Natsuki's doing. And able to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Let's have teasing or I chose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Never mind. I'm just glad you want it. Natsuki bat pedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. That's all for now, so... Go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, return to my seat and I can put, uh, so that I can put away Natsuki's poem. <laughs> Sticking with the Natsuki style wants more ice. Hmm. Really not, not, like Natsuki, don't you? <laughs> that's, that's... Oh, come on, Brayden. That's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Would any be like, manga that she's into? You know, you know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up hating me. No, I think you're misunderstanding, Brayden. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the one who's old, who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So, I just need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. A lot of times, she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might know how to handle her feelings properly. What am I saying? What am I saying is, if something bad happens, I could end up damaging the club too. And you would, you wouldn't do that to me, right? That's. I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. Well, I care about her in the club. It's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now. All right? Uh, all right. Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so you could probably use two people. Don't worry! Baking is a ton of fun! You'll definitely agree. Eh? Huh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that- Th That's because- Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself. With- Right, Yuri? Of course. I'll be used to it, after all. That's good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's hard to not feel bad. <laughs> face. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that, re that really counts. What about you, Brayden? Me? Uh, I guess I'm interested to see how it turned out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Atsuki starts pouting, too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling unappreciated in general. Trying to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Ugh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes up and puts her hand down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help me help the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're gonna make that atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during their performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Atsuki feels as releases her hands and turns to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Natsuki's words. 
Natsuki, of all people, should be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Siori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Siori would say at a time like this. Because Siori would always help everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm just going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope everyone to see them do the best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm sitting here, staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Huh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have wa gotten home and realized that you didn't have any way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmph. <laughs> That's who gave me your number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. I could have a guy over in my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah, I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much, so you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that it's not like a character like in front of anyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Can't believe this. Natsuki's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is it this the chance I have something I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to make my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. Alright. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but that doesn't help much. I wonder if she act any different when she's when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We say we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. <laughs> she also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting that suitcase aside... Okay, Siori. Okay. I spent only a few minutes back at home, anxiety waiting for Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Sup? Hey. I know I was expecting to see Natsuki in something other than a school uniform really threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes made me the uniform totally unfitting in comparison. Yeah, I'm confused. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, don't just be weird because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki's carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, I Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good! I'm glad you're counting you to do your part. Well, of course. As far as I hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Brayden? Come on. This is when I didn't need to be a gentleman. I got the bag Natsuki holds out to me. <coughs> this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried all that way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. Seems like I always underestimate you. Hey, <laughs> because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist in my chest. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. 
I really hate being small that much. Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? You don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school? Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a bit more like you. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. Hey, hey, now you're treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and... <laughs> and just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh. Atsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Atsuki? Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you're trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, that's what you're thinking. Then. You should probably know there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey, was it was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you're getting all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Brayden. Natsuki smiles dubiously. Please spare me. Natsuki decides to dish out some more insults like that. There's no way I'm going, not going to fight by it. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Bro, what are these? Bowls? <laughs> Who stacks bowls like that? Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. What are you talking about? Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are shown about every countertop. What are you talking about? There's nothing here! The mixer isn't enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Brayden, where'd you put the food coloring? The batter's gonna be in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. <laughs> We're using it for. To color the batter, of course. We can each tray a different color. That way, even the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Huh, that's a cute idea. Are we gonna do that, anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I am, I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. <laughs> that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it than the end if you're just looking at it. It makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Suri and Monika's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I'll use food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you're completely finished mixing, mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, that's getting there. We're used to... We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with the whisk and brought a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? That thing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. I'll just take a little bit... It'll just take a longer. Jeez, I'll just be here all night if you don't do it like that. Here, look. That's who grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, you consistently the, the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops in her mouth. I like to start to do the same. Hey! As he grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to itch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I totally scoop with some of my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ugh! The force of Natsuki pulling me caused me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got on my face! And whose fault is that? The gobble of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez, you know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes off her finger before showing her finger toward my own face. You wish? I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back. But I grab that one as well. <laughs> Stop! Uh, unless until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know, I don't mean it. 
<laughs> it's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things to get a reaction out of me? You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the ice cream. What? Do you just seriously just... Uh, Natsuki's so surprised she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Brayden? You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question she asked me, just like that? How did the mood tur turn th to this so quickly? I... Natsuki glances... Gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? I don't know the fire alarm starts going off. Let's see who rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder! You left a dirty tray in here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. That's who uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. He just sets it on top of the stove. Another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watched Natsuki size the cupcakes trays in the oven, and I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing, but nothing ever happened. Ugh, oh, that smells so good! The cupcakes are already to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look how cute they all look! She probably no shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They all look even better than the one once we add icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought some decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. I probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I'll pick up the one with the nozzles that has much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. Ah, uh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Uh, well, it's a literature event, right? You can make it more literature-themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'll be fun to see if people choose the cupcakes based on the word they like. Uh, hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. That's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. W what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not- you are not at school, nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, well... Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? N no nothing Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the paste and fastens the nozzle into each of the bags. There, there's a lot of work to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving much chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and we can get each to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ugh, I wish I could have one now! Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Siri's the a exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Huh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you're always having this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the fame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Siri each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she could, would listen to me in the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I again, think back to the conversation I had with Siri earlier today. I felt so helpless. Siri always does listen to me, but at that point, I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki? Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance? It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, 
You can come over anytime, okay? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or grow out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? Yasuki looks at me tensely, and she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Brayden? I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Whoa! Okay. I just can't handle people getting so close to me. Natsuki suddenly gets close to me. Wait, Natsuki! Sandy inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel your fingers gently touch the sides of my shirt as they're falling onto me. Rose-colored cheeks as matching my eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy. I feel her soft breath against me. I felt it. For a while now. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. See ya, Sayori! Eh? Eh, uh, hi, Brayden. Sayori, just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Brayden. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you should you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Sayori fussed and Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Okay, here we go. Okay, so wait, hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. And, uh, exit. Oh, pfft, uh, that was wrong. Hold on, go back. The Steam's got an update. Hold on, let's not do that. Uh, no, no. Okay, new game, and we're gonna go with Yuri next time, so, um, I hope you're having a good day, and, yeah, that's the end of the episode, so, bum, bum, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but, yeah, Ugh. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you guys later.